Good morning, fishing freaks. Today we are at Bass Pro Shop. The only one down here in South Florida. Other than that, we gotta go up north. We're gonna be doing a little bit of fishing tackle today. We're gonna stock up on a bunch of stuff. We might be making a few big purchases here or there, depending on what they have in the store. We're gonna go around, we're gonna take a look around, and see what they got in stock. Hopefully, you know, we're gonna have some good stuff to show you guys. So, let's mask on and meet up inside. Three to four shiners, $3. And we got night crawlers for four dollars. You guys want to see us come back and get some live bait out of there and fish with it and catch some big bass? Hit the like button. So that right there is a red drum, and I believe this one right here should be a black drum. You can tell they're carping because of the big eye and the mean underbite. Let's make our way to the fishing section, hopefully the freshwater section, and we're going to check out what they got here. This is actually my first time seeing the mock smash. This is nuts. The only thing is, this thing only comes in 610. So weird. Okay. Ooh. Okay. This is something we might be interested in. What is this? This is a 7.4 medium heavy St. Croix Bass X. But we're looking for for a 7.4 heavy. Those are all figured. I'm looking for the loose rods. Uh, I'm not sure if they have any just loose rods sitting around. I see a lot of Bass Pro. I see a lot of Ugly Stick. I see a lot of Ducket. A few Abu Garcias. Um, let's go look at the reels before we even decide if we're gonna look at rods and whatnot. Dreams are made of. <laughs> so the reel I'm actually looking for does not look like it's here. Pro LFS. If not, our other choice was a Shimano. They have the SLX MGL, but they don't have the SLX. Guys, see. You know, yeah. They have it? More than likely, we're going to get it. <laughs> Just the LFS Pro? Yeah, there it is. I got two of them. What gear ratio? 751? No. Nice. You guys ever want to know the secret before I die? <laughs> I'm serious. Hey man. As far as snooks fishing, I've never caught a snook before. So that's what well, my Shane, goal. Well, Shane, it'll be my. You guys want to catch one on your first cast? That'd be amazing. Like out there in the canal, we caught three snook at lunchtime all on a shad wrap. Really? But that's not what I use. I use. See that right there? Uh huh. That'll catch everything. And then. I have this, this is fresh water here. No, they'll they'll work. But if you go, let's go do the card, and I'll bring you. I'll, I'll hold this for you. Okay. No. All right. Send me your free hat for just a point. Okay. We'll see what they say right now. Free hat. All right. So now we're gonna go back to the fishing section. Um, we might look for some rods. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I'm contemplating it. It's something that I, you know I've had in mind for a while. So here's my dilemma. For the first year that I was fishing, I fished with absolutely nothing but a stick bait. So as of lately, I honestly have been trying to steer away from using a stick bait for the most part. So, we're not gonna go in that section. So, here we have some Guggen Squad lures. We're gonna pick up one pack of the Bama Bug. I think we're gonna grab a pack of Slim Shake Worms, even though I said we're not gonna grab worms. You might as well. Oh, we're in the jig section. Barely. Go back this way. <laughs> Heavy cover jig. 
See, this jig has a rattle on it, and I do not like that. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's basically what those jigs sound like. It's a good idea, but me personally, I would much rather have a rattle in my soft plastic. That way I'll be able to take it out whenever I feel the need to. Oh man. You like the split grip? Yeah. You just got brand new. I was looking for anything maybe like 7.4 to almost 7.6. See, I use this for snook. This will hold a four ounce jig. You know what four ounces is? That's yeah. like that. That's huge. That's, that's huge. six ounces. It's a little, that tip will handle it. One to four ounce, and I throw flare hawks with this from here to like where those uh, mutton snappers are. Uh huh. Literally, this rod is for the bait caster. Wow. And I have a. The spinning one, I have a 550 head on. This one, the 12 to 25, this came in, but this the 12 to 25 solid. This is the new split grip. Look at that. You know, oh, handle wow. three ounce. That is light. It's light as a feather, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that is really light. And look, you can see the uh, sensitivity in this. Do you feel me talking to you? Yes, one, two, three, four. Yeah, feel I feel it through the whole rod, all the way down. Because you, you ever see your line and your line goes like this? Mm -hmm. it, your line, the worm will be dropping like this and it'll go like this. And you'll say, oh, I think I got one. How do you know? I saw a line twitch. And then you set the hook or you just feel, yep. snook will hit, bam. Yeah, no, no, or they hit they'll it hard. Hit. They hit that, it really hard or, or really, soft. really soft. Yeah. yeah, it's just like large mouth. Wow, this is lightweight. And look at the, look at the price. <laughs> oh yeah. I use this. The Axe Wrap 14. It looks big, right? Yeah. Now I'll, I'll show you the size of the box. That, that's just an optical illusion. So this is deadly. I caught eight snook trolling in a row on that thing. Wow. And the flare hawks I'll show you over here. What's up, guys? Uh, so today we're in Bass Pro. We met Chris Hunter. He goes uh, snook fishing on the regular. He just told us how he caught a snook slam earlier this week. Caught three different snook, common snook, fat snook, and what was the other one? Short spine snook. Short spine snook. So we're gonna be meeting up with him maybe later on. Hopefully we'll have some snook videos for you guys. That way me and Devin can catch our first snook. And uh, we're gonna make some connections with this guy here. Pleasure's ours at Bass Pro. That right there is the secret to peacock bass. Because peacock bass like fast moving stuff. Pompano and jacks are fast moving. So say you don't, you're walking the canals and you don't see any, it's mm -hmm. murky. And you throw this deep and it sinks deep and you start bouncing it real fast. And they come up and say he misses it before he heads back down the deep. Mm -hmm. Now you located them. And now you throw it back to the same location until they hit it. Or when they're on their bed, if they take off, mm -hmm. they'll, that means something, they caught them before someone caught them before so what you do is if you're on the canal bank here and they're down here by your feet mm -hmm. and they keep taking off that way what you want to do from here is look that way and cast that way to where they're gonna go and keep your line above the water and then as it's coming and you think it's really close to them you drop it as soon as he sees your line or this they're gonna take off and as he takes off and this is fallen he'll go like this and go bam out of aggravation and nail it. And that's how you catch them again on that. Yeah. I've caught them on a bare hook before. Yes, you have. They'll hit anything. Yeah. But their fins will go like this. They'll go, and they'll spike up and yeah. color up. And, but that right there is, I catch everything on that. Snook, jack, peacock bass. Wow. You Buy can go it. anywhere on the planet. Buy it. <laughs> Buy it. See, I told you. So this is everything we're getting today. So here we have some bandito bugs and summer craw. More than likely gonna be Texas rigging those. Uh, we're gonna move on to the six inch lunker logs. Always gonna be Texas rigging those or weightless. Cannot go wrong with a weightless stick bait. Then here we have some rage menace in green pumpkin. These are gonna definitely be used for swim jig trailers. All times. And then last but not least, we have our little 
pompano jig here. That's going to be a little secret sauce for some peacocks. So. Stay tuned. Yeah, I think we're done buying stuff. That's fine, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris, I think we're all set. You ready? Oh, you got power pole right there. Oh. <laughs> Which one do you, would you like? Uh, 300 yards, 150, 500. 150, um, 30, 40. That's a good choice. Protection plan, New Year's, $19. No, sure. Trust me, I take care of my reels more than anybody else. See how flush it is? Mm -hmm. That's how you do your leaders too. That way, that knot will come out. The line will pop or the braid will pop, but the knot will come out. Okay. That's how I want the keg south snook tournament. Okay. Get your number from Devin. Okay. And when I go fish, we can go all around and I can put you on some 10 pound peacocks. My name's Chris Hunter, tactical fishing with Chris Hunter. That's my thing. Tactical fishing with Chris Hunter. And I'm the permit hunter, <laughs> or the peacock hunter, or the snook hunter. Awesome. My friend's the artist and the guy. CEO. But if you're wearing one of my shirts, You'll get $200 worth of equipment, like uh, shirts and stuff. If yours is the badass fish of the day. Okay. Or end of the month. So what you want to do is, what size you wear? Um, extra large. In your medium? All right, so let's, I guess, go over what some of the stuff we bought. We got a free hat for applying for the Bass Pro card. That's neither here nor there. We got some six inch lunker logs, green pumpkin blue. Rage Menace, green pumpkin. And some uh, Summer Craw Bandito Bugs. You cannot go wrong with the old Cheeto Bandito. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but it's got it kind of have like a green pumpkin color with more of like a chartreuse green on the bottom. We bought ourselves a, another tackle box because we need this. We're gonna be organizing our tackle a little bit more. Buddy Chris Hunter convinced us to uh, pick up some pompano jigs. He says these things are perfect for fishing for peacock bass. So. We're going to test these out one of these days. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to film a live bait video for you guys. And in the meantime, during that live bait video, we'll throw this Pompano jig around a few. See how many fish we can catch on the Pompano jig versus the live shiners. How about that? We did pick up some braid just because we needed it, 40 pound test. And then 
the peace de resistance, the coup de gras, the lose, speed spool LFS. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 15 pounds of drag. 7 5 to 1 gear ratio. 9 plus 1 ball bearing. Look at that. Look at the gray matte finish on that, man. That is just absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to pair this thing up with a rod. Hopefully, it will be a lose rod. If not, I do have a spare rod at home that I'm going to be putting it on for the time being just to really test it out and get out there on the water with it. But as of right now, this is my most expensive reel. This reel came in right at a price point of $99.99. That's what we all purchased today. If we make another stop, we'll make sure that we have some content for you guys. But as of right now, that was our tackle shopping adventure for today at Bass Pro Shop. We met Chris Hunter at Bass Pro Shop. He gave us a ton of information to help us out today. Like, this guy knows his stuff when it comes to snook, peacock fishing, all things saltwater. This guy knows his stuff. Uh, we also met his buddy George. We exchanged some information with him. So we'll be linking up with them hopefully sometime soon. We'll have a couple videos with them. Maybe, you know... Devin and I will catch our first snook. You never know. He says he can put us on some 10 pound peacocks. Now, I've caught some nice peacock in my lifetime, but I have not caught a 10 pound peacock. So you say you can make it happen. I'm gonna hold you to that. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit the like button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we drop our next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.